Good morning, folks. It's a cloudy summer day, perfect for doing a geologic field trip to the Valles Caldera. New Mexico State motto, the land of enchantment, is well deserved, in part because of the many superb geologic features across the state. In my opinion, the crown jewel of New Mexico geology is the Valles Caldera, located in the Jemez Mountains of northern New Mexico. Smack dab in the middle of the Jemez is a stunning volcanic crater, 12 to 14 miles in diameter, that formed during a catastrophic eruption about 1.25 million years ago. Today, we're going to take a geologic field trip to the caldera by heading west on Highway 4 as it climbs up and over the rim of the caldera, then across the caldera's southern margin to a final stop on the southwest rim of the caldera looking inwards. Now appropriately, the Valles Caldera is now in the National Park System and was first adopted as a national preserve in the year 2000. I see the Valles Caldera as New Mexico's Yellowstone, including abundant wildlife, geothermal features, and of course dramatic volcanic topography. Anyone that spends significant time at the caldera will encounter elk, deer, coyotes, and plenty of smaller mammals as well, such as prairie dogs and pack rats. I've come across many black bears, both inside and outside the caldera. But the Valles Caldera is particularly famous in the world of volcanology, as it is the world's type example of a resurgent caldera, now commonly referred to as a supervolcano, and it was here that the first interpretation of such an enormous eruption was made. Eruptions on this scale transform the landscape in the geologic blink of the eye, collapsing mountains, filling valleys, and resetting the location and orientation of rivers. These massive eruptions certainly aren't good for living things in the vicinity, but they also make for extremely fun and interesting geology today. So our route is going to begin halfway between Santa Fe and Los Alamos, in the middle of the Española Basin that's part of the Rio Grande Rift. The rift is a tear in the crust of New Mexico which has allowed magma from the mantle to penetrate through the thinning crust, often breaking through to form a variety of volcanoes and volcanic deposits. Once we cross the Rio Grande heading west, we ascend the Pajarito Plateau, an eastward sloping plateau that's capped by the volcanic tuff from the Valles Caldera eruption. After passing through Los Alamos, we will cross over the rim of the caldera and drop down into magnificent Valle Grande, the largest valley inside the caldera. Our final stop will be the western rim of the caldera, providing a gorgeous view into the caldera and a nice visual perspective of the last eruption, a viscous lava flow termed the Banco Benito, which poured slowly out approximately 40,000 years ago. Since this will also be a virtual field trip, we have a huge benefit today in that I hold a day pass on Google Air, which instead of driving, will allow us to fly from stop to stop, as well as take flights into and around the caldera, giving us a bird's eye perspective on the geology below. So let's begin in space looking down at the United States. Notice the blue dot in the American Southwest. This dot represents the location of the Valles Caldera in the Jemez Mountains of northern New Mexico. But as we begin to descend towards this dot, you see it transform into a blue donut shape, which will be outlining the border of the caldera. As we get closer and closer, we will finally pause with an oblique perspective of the caldera and gradually you will notice a geologic map of the Jemez Mountains draping over the topography. This will be an extremely helpful Google Earth tool throughout our trip today. The different colors on the geologic map represent different types of volcanic rocks and different ages in the geologic past. Perhaps the most important rock unit for our trip today is the light orange color, which represents the upper bandolier tuff, the main unit erupted during the formation of the caldera. Fortunately, we do have a nice cloudy day today, 
and since we are in the midst of our monsoon season, sun and heat won't be a big problem. We will begin on the eastern side of the Rio Grande Valley, in between Santa Fe and Los Alamos, where there is a good view of the Jemez Mountains on the western skyline. Hi folks, I'm Kurt Kempter. I'm a geologist slash volcanologist. Uh, work here in northern New Mexico and do a lot of teaching. And since we're in the coronavirus period right now, all my classes are canceled. So I've teamed up with my good buddy, Javier Cernas. He's a camera video guy. I'm a rock guy. So we're going to do a little virtual field trip of the Valles Caldera today. Now, so we're going to be taking Highway 4 up to the Pajarito Plateau, through Los Alamos, over the rim of the caldera, down into the caldera, and basically traverse the southern part of the caldera uh, over the course of about six stops. So here at the beginning, we're looking at the Jemez Mountains on the horizon behind me, and they are a, a mountain range composed entirely of volcanic rocks from literally hundreds and probably a few thousand different eruptions over about 14 to 15 million years. In the other direction, to the east, we have a mountain range that are the Sangre de Cristos, and very, very different. They're a mountain range that's much older, uplifted mostly between 70 and 45 million years ago. Uh, so a much older mountain range off to the east, but here to the west, the Hame is much younger and composed entirely of volcanic rocks. The Jemez Mountains are here because in the last 30 million years, New Mexico has been pulling apart. Huge tectonic forces related to the birth and development of the San Andreas Fault at the western margin of the North American Plate in the last 30 million years, the San Andreas Fault has been getting bigger and bigger. The Pacific Plate to the west has been grinding past our North American Plate, and it's been causing all of the Southwest to literally expand and pull apart. And here in New Mexico, what that means is Western New Mexico, composed of a province we call the Colorado Plateau, has been pulling away from eastern New Mexico. And as a consequence, we developed a tear in the crust of New Mexico that runs from north to south that we call the Rio Grande Rift. And here in uh, northern New Mexico, this particular part of the rift is called the Española Basin. So from the Sangre de Cristo Mountains over to the Jemez Mountains, we have this chunk of crust uh, probably on the order of 20 miles wide east to west. And in the last 30 million years, this chunk of crust of the Española Basin has been dropping down and down as the Colorado Plateau pulls away from eastern New Mexico. As this basin has been dropping down, it becomes a bowl that sediments have been filling in. But the other consequence is the pulling apart of the crust allows magma from the mantle to find a way, come up to the surface, and we get lots and lots of volcanic eruptions. So up and down the Rio Grande Rift, as a re result of the pulling apart of our crust, we have a lot of volcanic rocks. So this basin we're in, the Española Basin, as it drops down, it fills in with sediments, it also fills in with volcanic rocks. But the Jemez Mountains over there is a real focus point. Many, many, so many volcanic eruptions over the last 14 million years that it's created literally a mountain of volcanic rocks. The highest peak behind me is the highest peak in the Jemez Mountains. I believe it's 11,561 feet elevation. Uh, it basically represents a volcano that's four to five million years old. And all of the peaks that make up the horizon from our perspective here 
are volcanoes from a period of a time between three and five million years ago. And so it's a phase of volcanic activity in the Jemez Mountains we call the Chacoma Formation. And most of these eruptions uh, produced these very thick, pasty lava flows that oozed out and created volcanoes we call volcanic domes. So Chacoma Peak is a four to five million year old volcano. We have some clouds blocking some of the peaks, but as you move to the left or south of there, you have Cerro Caballo, you have Pajarito Mountain, Cerro Grande, and all of those are volcanoes from this phase, basically years ago, erupting over there in the Jemez. Now, present day, those volcanoes on the horizon make up the eastern rim of the Valles Caldera. So on the other side, once you cross over those mountains, you drop down into the Valles Caldera, which is going to be the focal point of the trip today. So, so join Javier and me. We're going to do six stops. This is the first stop as we traverse the, the Valles Caldera. The next stop we're going to is still going to be on Highway 4. And it's a beautiful, beautiful exposure that tells the beginning of one of these massive eruptions in the Jemez Mountains. All right, Javier, let's go. <laughs>